Hey guys, about eight weeks ago, I introduced you to the newest addition to our family around here when I brought uh, six chicks home from the store. I had three Australorps and three black sex links. Cute little things. We fell in love with them pretty quick and I knew right away I had to get them out of that plastic tote. So I built them a bigger brood box to uh, tie them over till I got something even better for them. And two things I found out from that deal, number one, they grow very fast. And number two, just like me, they like to eat tomatoes. My goal all along has been to build a nice chicken tractor so I can move it around out here in the grassy areas and let them live a somewhat natural life. I can't let them free range, but I can give them fresh grass every couple of days and at least uh, do that for them. First off, I wanna say thank you to all the people who posted videos of their chicken tractors, what they had done. And what I did was just look at a lot of this stuff and pick and choose the things that I like and come up with uh, something that I felt would suit my needs. When I was doing this, there's two things that I was focused on, the safety, and protection of the birds and having them a decent comfortable place to spend their time. It took me a little bit longer than I had anticipated to put this thing together. I might have went overboard with it a little bit kind of overbuilt it but I'd rather overbuild it than underbuild it. I don't think anything the way that I have it set up no critter at nighttime will ever be able to mess with these chicks. Let me show you what I got. Alright guys this is the new chicken tractor. Basically it's four foot wide 11 foot long plus another foot on the end where I got the handle at all uh, treated two by fours the roosting part or the uh, the overnight accommodations are four by four I've got an OSB floor in there I wanted to go ahead and give them something solid as opposed to putting wire cloth in it I do have an access in the back so I can clean everything out periodically and keep it nice and clean for them now one thing you probably look at and you wonder what in the heck is he done is this section right here. This is a little bit different. A lot of designs that I saw had a trap door coming up under the bottom of this where you raise the uh, ramp up and then put something through there. And I wanted to be able to have the door in the front. And also I wanted to be able to have a way to get in here to move the food and the water around and whatever else I needed to do on the inside if I ever needed access to the birds. I didn't want to have to come through a little door on the side. So I built this section right here. The whole thing is covered in a two by four wire. I'm not worried about anything messing with the birds in the daytime. My only concern was what would happen at night. That's why I've got this and I'll show you the rest of the things in here. It is uh, critter proof. There ain't no critter around here ever going to mess with these birds. The way this works, I've got two heavy galvanized hinges right here. And I put a handle right here for me to grab hold to to flip it open. There's a latch on both sides that I can lock. And the way this works, you just take it, flip this right up. It'll lay right down. And this gives me access to anything I need to do on the inside. I can also get in here and do anything if I needed to. Close this door at night, turn the lock on it. I can put me a linchpin in here too if I wanted to and make sure that nothing can bother these birds. I found this old window amongst my collection of uh, stuff that I never throw away. Cut the uh, opening out, framed it up and stuck it in here, put a little bit of trim around it, make it look nice and neat. And this will give them a little bit more light in there. I am seeing that they like to spend some time during the day. Just walk on up in there and uh, rest a little while. And the only thing about this, I might need to put up a mini blind because when I put my nesting boxes in here and they start laying, they might want a little bit of privacy. So I'll have to keep that in mind. As you can see, I do have a shingle roof on here. I had an extra bundle of shingles laying around from where I finished up the uh, stove buildings for the greenhouse. So I put them on here. Had some galvanized trim left over, the drip edge. But this is pretty cool right here. I like it a lot. I just close this thing up, drop it down, put my latches on there, lock it up, and they're good to go. My handle right here was a leftover piece of EMT that I had when I built the greenhouse. So I tried to use as much scrap material as I had laying around here, the leftover stuff, so I wouldn't have to keep spending money on this. What I did for the walk board, just put a little bracket down there real quick, put a rope on it. I can pull this up, watch out girl, and just lock it right around this handle. And then it's off the ground so I can move this thing around. The first night, they didn't want to go in here. 
had to help them get in there and then the next night by the time I come out here it was getting dark they were already inside sound asleep they learn fast from my wheel assembly instead of using a 2x4 I took a piece of uh, galvanized pipe that I had extra just laying around and cut it down drill my holes through it and for this assembly right here if you just go Google uh, chicken tractor wheels you'll come up with the design for this you've got one bolt that actually goes through the pipe and that's your pivot and then this is the bolt that goes through the wheels uh, my bolts are too long I probably had to cut them off but this is just a prototype right here to see how it would work I can move this thing around but it's not very easy and when you pull up on this you can see it raises up a few inches right here that's just enough to be able to move it around I need it up a little bit more so I can work with it for the back door I've got the same style of latches with a lynch pin in it just come off the tractor implements and you turn both of these pull them down then when you open the door you see I got some shavings up in there so they won't have that bare floor just trying to make sure they're nice and comfortable on the inside, I do have a nice uh, two by two roosting pole, plenty of room for them to get up there at night. And I'm not worried about the nesting boxes right now. They will be built across the end right here, probably a raise up a little bit so I could clean this stuff out from up under it. But I got another couple of months before they start laying, so not too much worried about that right now. One more thing that I did, keeping in mind that chickens put off a fair amount of heat and it can get pretty warm in here in the summertime. Even though I have a vent up at the top, air can't come out unless some air can get in so I went and cut a hole right here in the floor it's about 6 by 12 give or take and I did the same thing I've got the 2 by 4 wire and the wire cloth this will allow the air to come in here as it's going out the top if it gets really hot to give them some fresh air right here I'm doing everything I can to try to keep these birds nice and comfortable on the end here I actually built out an overhang and instead of having this solidly closed up I framed it out and made a vent right here I can close this up in the winter time when it gets really cold put something over it. but right here I've got the 2x4 wire behind it is the wire cloth and then those are actually held in place with staples and small boards on the inside so there's no critter going to be able to come through this little eave right here these birds are going to be nice and safe at night no way any animal could ever bother them I think they're going to be very happy in here as I said a couple of times my primary objective was to make sure that they were safe and happy and I think this is a very good start right here. If y'all have any suggestions or things that I can do to improve upon what I've got, uh, feel free to comment. I would use all the help I can get. So hope that was helpful. Y'all take care and Lord willing, we'll see you next time. Ain't that right girls? Oh yeah. If you found this video to be helpful, informative, entertaining or just downright funny, don't forget to subscribe.